Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'll be crafting with some of the Spellbinders club kits. I've got the Better Press Club here and I'll also be crafting with the 3D embossing folder. And I'm going to make a gatefold card. It's been a while since I've made one of these. So this piece of cardstock is five and a half tall by eight and a half wide and along the eight and a half inch edge, I've scored it at two and one eighth, rotated it 180 degrees and scored at two and one eighth again. When you mountain fold those two score lines, the edges should meet up in the center, giving you a gatefold card. And I'm going to actually create a locking mechanism for my gatefold because today my video is part of the Oso oh inspired collaboration hop, which I'll tell you a little bit more about, but the original inspiration comes from Danya's doodles and her card structurally was a z-fold but looks very similar to in terms of layout to my gatefold with this locking mechanism as a centerpiece to it so for the locking mechanism if you've never made one of these for your gatefold before it's an alternative to using a belly band and so what i've done is i uh, picked a nested shape die it can be any shape that you'd like and I chose two different sizes and I think the two different sizes makes this a little bit easier to create from the larger size that's going to be the piece that is visible on the outside and so from that I'm going to cut or with that, I'm going to cut purple cardstock. There's a darker purple that I use and then a lighter purple. And then I go one size down. And with the one size down die, I cut two pieces of plain old white cardstock. So in total, you're going to have four, two large and two small. The white pieces of cardstock, it's better if that's lighter weight. So maybe like a 60, 65 pound weight cardstock would be good. It's also good for one of your larger pieces can be something a little bit more substantial, a little bit more heavyweight, like a hundred pound would be great. But for the other piece that is uh, the larger of the two shape dies, I would go lighter weight on that as well. And you'll kind of see why in a moment when I fully assemble everything. So these are those white pieces and I have folded them in half. And then what I've done is sandwiched my gate between each of these halves. So one folded um, shape is sandwiching one gate. The other folded piece is sandwiching the other gate. And then I just glue the larger piece on top of it. And liquid adhesive is great. It gives you a little bit of time and room to kind of nudge things around a little bit. But that's why having the smaller size in the white is really helpful because you don't have to worry about if these were the exact same size, you'd, you'd really have to work at getting them exactly matched. So once it's glued to one side, you can then glue the back layer, which I also recommend being lighter weight. So I recommend the top layer where I've got the darker of the two purples. Nice heavyweight cardstock is great there. It gives it nice structure. But in any case, it's a lot of layers of cardstock. So the structure will be there. But having the lighter weight for the uh, two white layers and the lighter lavender layer that's on the inside, it's actually helpful because then you don't have quite as much folded cardstock, quite as much bulk and thickness there. And as well, those lighter weight cardstocks will bend a little bit more easily, which will make this easier to open. Because there's actually going to be two ways you can open it. You can either just slide this up and out of um uh, off of the card or if somebody doesn't know that that's how it works they could just open this card you know from the middle and it wouldn't tear anything because that lighter weight cardstock is going to give and bend a lot more easily than if you were to use a uh, thicker heavier weight cardstock so I mentioned earlier that my video is part of the Oso oh inspired monthly collaboration hop. So if you want to see how my teammates were inspired by this same piece, um, 
Originally featured by Danya's Doodles, it was actually her Craft Roulette one uh, ninetieth episode card, and there'll be a link to her original inspiration piece in the description box below, and as well there will be a link to the playlist where you can see more inspiration from my teammates who were also inspired by this very same card. I look forward to this collaboration every month because it's really fun to see how everybody was inspired, what they took from the original piece because we can all look at the same thing, but there will be something about what we're looking at that speaks to each of us differently. And that's one of the things that I love about, uh, hopping right alongside with you is to see, you know, what is it that sparked, um, some creative inspiration for my teammates and, and what did they make? So I'm excited to see that as, um, as well. Uh, being on the team, we don't get any sneaky peeks as to what everybody else has created. So it's just as fun for us to hop as it would be for you. So I hope you hop along. And if you're also inspired to create something, I hope you'll share it on social media and tag us so that we can see how Danya's piece has inspired you. And big thanks to Call Me Crafty Al here on YouTube who organizes and um, does so much to bring us all together to create this collaboration every month. So as I've um, been chatting away about the uh, collaboration hub, all I've been doing is just really just collaging up some of these really fun sewing notions. So the better press is really wonderful this month. It goes with a lot of the other sewing themed items from the club kits. You have the, you know, what's really cool. The, the bobbin or um, the little spool of thread, that's actually a better press registration set, which is really, really neat. We kind of get like a little bit of a mini registration set because with, um, there's actually two plates that you can, that are separate that you can actually sort of do like a multi press and have this look where the, the, the card, sort of the spool card is in one color and then you can stamp out the actual thread in a different color. And with the registration better press, there's actually a template that actually shows you how to line it up so that, you know, as you are doing, um, multiple press plates, you can line each of them up in exactly the right location so that it all looks seamless when it comes together. So I was really surprised by that. I thought it was so cool. And I do love these fancy scissors. I kept my card very monochromatic and the sentiment actually came, um, from the add-on for this month's club kit. So if you are a um, deluxe caboodle uh, club subscriber, you always get a free little add-on with each month. And so this month there were several die cut sentiments and um, they're sort of like debossing plates and a, a really lovely curved banner, which is really perfect. So here's my final card. Here's how you would, um, slip that um, gate lock in or you can always slide it in from the top. So either way, it works just fine. I was still being a little bit ginger with it because I used some 3D glue gel that hadn't yet dried. But once that's dry, um, you don't have to be quite so precious with that locking mechanism. I hope that you enjoyed my video today and do hop along, check out the playlist in the description box below and as well check out the original piece by Danya's Doodles. Thanks again and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!